What is going on guys? Grave here today. I'd like to talk about all of the layoffs at all the different gaming companies over the past week. And uh, this kind of sucks if you're a fan of video games. Uh, you kind of always hate to hear that, you know, these companies are laying off people knowing that, you know, you enjoy the games they play and enjoy the games that a lot of different uh, developers make. And hearing this, uh, you know, is not a good thing in my opinion for the gaming industry in general, even though it's something that I'm sure that has to happen from time to time. Unfortunately, it seems like this year may even get worse with this, considering how many people have been laid off already. Of course, last week there was a lot of layoffs at Microsoft, uh, Riot, Unity, and other companies as well, third-party developers. And the big issue with this, a lot of the thing, a thing that a lot of people don't like, is the total number of layoffs in 2024, as of the 25th of January, has already reached 54% of last year's layoffs in total so the uh, total amount of layoffs in 2023 this year just barely into january or you know almost the end of january they've already reached 54 uh, percent of those layoffs and like i said you look at microsoft riot unity a lot of the third party developers being impacted um you're looking at thousands of people without a job in the gaming industry that's not to say they won't find a job with another company but at the same time a lot of these companies, if you like games from these particular, you know, developers, in the long run, it may end up hurting the games down the road. If you look at particularly uh, things like Activision, Sledgehammer, High Moon Studios, Toys for Bob, Treyarch, Infinity Ward, Raven, Solid State Studios, Beanox, and Demonware had layoffs as well. Sledgehammer, which is making this year's Call of Duty, which is, of course, Modern Warfare 3, lost 30% of their staff. High Moon Studios, which has done a lot of stuff for Call of Duty over the years, lost 10%. Toys for Bob, which is one of the smaller developers that works for uh, Call of Duty, lost 30% of their staff. And like I said, you have your big development teams of Treyarch Infinity Ward also losing people. Raven uh, and also Demonware, which does a lot of the stuff for the anti-cheat for Call of Duty. So this, in my opinion, is not good for Call of Duty in general going down the road, considering that you're losing 30% of your staff for Sledgehammer. Now, of course, it's going to be several more years before we have another Sledgehammer game. That's kind of already been leaked that it may be 2027 before Sledgehammer is making another game for Call of Duty. But if you look at this overall, kind of like the big picture, it's not good even for Treyarch, for Infinity Ward, for any of them. Because these these groups of people, these teams that they have working on these games, really make the game. And I know they're going to say that you know they can do it with less resources, whatever, blah, blah, blah. But as we all know, nowadays, these big companies like Microsoft, like Activision, seem like a lot of times the, these parent companies, I guess you would say, the people that are kind of putting out the money, really want these games made quickly. And, you know, they want these games to be a success. But at the same time, they f want to get rid of the employees that work for them, which is kind of strange to me, considering it's going to take a lot of people to make a, you know, a really good game. And if you continue to see layoffs like this, like I said, at other companies as well, you're, um, like I said, right, uh, that, that's a, a company that makes a lot of games. They laid off around 530 people uh, on Tuesday of this past week. And Riot makes a lot of really great games there. Like I said, Unity also laid off about 20% or 25% of its workforce, totaling 1,800 employees. So any of these companies that are going to be making games in the future, they're, if they're working on games right now for, you know, the end of the year, next year, they took a big hit, and some of these developers were talking about how they came into work uh, and found out that they're pretty much their entire team got removed, got laid off. I'm not quite sure how they're going to handle this going forward. I'm not sure how Microsoft and Activision are going to handle this for Call of Duty. I don't think it's a good sign for what we'll see down the road. But just in general, all of these gaming industry companies, uh, you know, laying off a lot of their employees and. Like I said, I'm sure they will find other jobs with other, you know, other divisions out there. So there'll be some other companies out there that are looking to hire people. But at the same time, if you look at pretty much how uh, gaming is working right now, a lot of these companies are owned by just a handful of people. Microsoft owns a lot. Sony owns a lot. So you're starting to look at, you know, you might have some smaller indie developers that are not owned by a big parent company yet, but eventually a lot of these companies are going to have these layoffs and may not rehire people because, like I said, if, if Microsoft owns a ton of these companies, if they're laying off, they're not really going to turn around and rehire them for a different division under them, I wouldn't think. So I'm kind of curious to see how this is going to work out down the road. Like I said, it's a shame to see, like I said, all these people losing their gaming jobs when it's games that we really enjoy playing. 
And I think as a consumer, as someone that buys the games, uh, I think it kind of makes us feel like, what's the future look like of gaming? Are these games going to be as good, as enjoyable? Are they just going to start pushing out things quickly just to make money? I mean, it's kind of a lot of questions you have as a person that enjoys playing video games. At the same time, it kind of makes you curious exactly about how many more layoffs are they going to have going forward? Because if they continue this trend, it's like they're going to cut down a lot of of employees in the gaming industry this year. And in my opinion, this starts hurting studios and you start seeing not as good of games coming out. And you may see some of these studios pretty much just disappear if they're not going to rehire these positions. Leave me a comment with your thoughts and I'll catch you all next time. Peace.